So I'm going to show you how to use Track Builder's uh, diagram mode, which basically allows us to place a diagram, any kind of image, into your Unity scene. Um, and this will help you, say, um, lay out your track if you were, say, rebuilding another track or you'd sketched out a track and scanned it into your computer. Um, and it would allow you to create the, a track from, from basically an image. Um, so here I'm going to go and create a new builder track. And um, I'm going to go to the diagram mode, which is here. So you can see here we've got the default um, track builder track here. Um, and we've got the options here. We're going to click on show diagram to begin with. Um, this is just a little toggle to allow you to sh show or hide it. It will become useful in a minute as you'll see why. Um, and we're going to load a diagram. So let's just go into here and go to the assets. We'll load up the Spa Frank Cachamp track which comes with track builder as an example um, this is a diagram I used to um, model the track on um, useful because it actually also comes with the altitude of the track points like here 409 meters for 18 which is very useful for a hilly track like spa um, so we've got the diagram here, but obviously it's not to scale. Uh, ID, in an ideal world, these diagrams come with a scale, but if you're using a sketch you made, or for example, this diagram doesn't come with any actual scale, so we're going to have to improvise. Um, thankfully here we have a nice straightened spar, uh, which we can use. It's 410 meters long. Uh, no, 710 meters long. Um, so in Track Builder down here, we have a function called Draw Scale. And what this allows us to do is mark out the start and end points on a scale of the diagram. Um, so here we can see it's marked out the start and the finish. Um, and we will set the scale length to 710 meters. And there we have it. We have the actual scale size. So this now is um, the spa Francochamp track to scale uh, in the Unity Editor. And this we can use to build a full-size uh, model of the track. Now, Track Builder also comes with uh, tr layout track points, a function in the track setting, um, and and the, these two sort of go hand in hand because uh, layout track points allows us to just essentially click place um, track control points, uh, and it allows us to lay out the track very quickly, a, a basic track. Um, it won't be perfect, but it will be. It will get us running real quick. Um, ideally, you want to get your entire track into the view for this because the camera um, doesn't work too well um, sort of flying around and trying to click points at the same time it can get quite messy um, so when you click on layout track points we we have a little dialog box that comes up because we're going to dump all track data when you click on this so we're just confirming that that we want to delete everything um, which we do so now there's no track data and then we basically just start click placing these control points. You can see the um, the editor does draw a sort of rough idea of where the track's heading um, and uh, it'll give us an idea of where we're going and the sort of curves and stuff what we've laid out already. Um, the control points for the curves are just obviously estimated. They, they aren't 100% accurate. They, they will generally get the basic sort of curves accurate, but things like chicanes and stuff will need to be tweaked in a minute. Once we get them all in, there we get them. And then what you can do is you click on the, the first point again to complete the loop. And there we have it. We have our track. I'll zoom in here. As you can see here, things like chicanes, they look a bit lopsided, um, but we can change the control points for this to make it a bit more accurate. But things like that. And obviously you're not going to place your control points 100% accurately, you can still tweak them from now on. I mean, from now on it's just a tweak job. Going back to a diagram, um, we've got it here, and you'll probably want to keep it for a while uh, while doing your diet, while doing your track. Um, things like these uh, 
the, the height of the track points will be will come in quite important. But um, the show diagram can can become quite useful uh, for hiding the track uh, later on um, when you don't want to see it. The other thing important to note is while we have the track here, and I'm going to move the camera into view. Uh, move along the view. Um, when we play the scene, the uh, track builder does automatically hide the diagram, so that won't appear in the game uh, ever. Um, but that's basically um, the diagram functionality. Thank you.